WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of uh, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have a bit of a mixed bag. That mix really only coming from the semis. They're up 12 points. Otherwise, all the other U.S. indices are trading to the downside, as are each of the sectors with inside the S&P 500. Dow's off 276, S&P 23, NASDAQ 52, Russell's down 13. Semis, as I mentioned earlier, they're up 12 points. Gold is flat. Silver's down 15 cents. Lights recruit off a buck 37. Natural gas up 11 pennies. And a 30-year Treasury down about a half a point, trading out at 126.31. Let's go take a look at what all this might mean by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini in the upper left hand side. What we've got here is your, just your good old fashioned consolidation with inside a bullish structured profile. Price did test and reject two things so far this morning. That's the swing point. That would set up an A to B equals CD to the upside at 41.80 and the top of its profile, which is at 41.68. Spot volatility index is still well below its 50 day exponential moving average. One would think. One would think, with the S&P trading lower, that we would see that spot volatility hovering around the 50-day. We are not. Hmm, something to think about. If we take a look at the NQ out here, the NQ right now still trading above the top of its daily profile. It does have a TD9 count top, but its signal is really, quite frankly, neutral. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, just bouncing in between support and resistance of its profile levels. Those are 102.58 at the bottom, or support, and 103.53 for resistance. Goldilocks. Trading below the bottom of its weekly profile. Now, obviously, from a weekly standpoint, it matters where it closes on Friday, not where it's trading on Tuesday. But a close below 1868.60 is going to suggest we've got more downside in Goldilocks. That would become on Friday. Right now, it's not a, it's not the ideal situation. If you take a look at silver, silver may negate its TD9 count bottom pattern. Maybe that's the place to keep an eye on because a close below 2183 today would do just that. And that would most certainly suggest lower price. If you look at light sweet crude, you've just got a, uh, well, let me just change this to the uh, April contract out here. Give me a moment. We'll do that. Make sure we're looking at that. And we'll take a look at that. It's set of profiles. As soon as this thing populates, natural gas is going to natural gas, natural gas consolidating with inside its bullish structured profile as well. It does have a buy the D point pattern that formed a few days ago. Supports at 235. Take a look at lights recruit now back to the lower left. You can see it is consolidating with inside that daily profile support at 7364 and resistance at 8068. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Set Show. But if you're off to start your Tuesday, please have a terrific one and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Take care.